and corn and bean prices are approaching record highs as we're right in the middle of the growing season. Agronomists say that this is a result of low supply and fears about the current drought. Reporter Travis Breeze is now live with what that price could signal for farmers and shoppers. Ron and Abby, a bushel of corn is running at about 720 this week and a bushel of beans at about 1660. And those are just about record highs and we have not seen numbers like that since 2012 to 2013. Unfortunately, a reason why they are so high is because, like you said, Abby, there is really low supply. So there's not a lot of farmers able to cash in on those prices just yet. Instead, they are planting more row crops and praying for rain just not a consistent layer of moisture. While surveying his corn seedlings Thursday, Ron Frank found many late bloomers. And here we have one who something went wrong. When he planted three weeks ago, the topsoil was dry and the good stuff was about two inches down. So when his planter hits a bump and doesn't get deep enough, the seeds really struggle. It's just pretty tough over a whole field to consistently maintain that. But he calls himself a lucky one. His fields near New Hall in Benton County are only in the abnormally dry category. Farmers to the north and west are really feeling it. The northwestern portion of our coverage area in a moderate drought and our southeastern counties where we've seen some rain, uh, a couple of inches of rain over the last couple of storms and so therefore normal conditions to slightly uh, drier than normal. Since very few people have crops to sell right now, the high prices are supposed to act as an indicator, both for farmers and consumers. It's trying to ration out demand to make sure that we don't run out of crop before the next harvest. Chad Hart with Iowa State Extension says farmers need to plant a little more this year and shoppers should buy a little less. Frank changed his crop rotation to fit more corn. Despite the uncertainty, he thinks if rain catches up, it could be a record year. If you're lucky to get under some rains, I, I think it could be a real good year. Now, while Frank doesn't have any corn to sell right now, he does do one very important thing proactively every year. He keeps enough corn to be able to feed his cows that he uses for dairy farming so that he does not have to pay for these super high prices. Reporting live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Yeah, quite the prices right now. Thanks, Travis. You know, agronomists say the prices will likely come down in the fall when the supply starts to rebound right around harvest time. Yeah, but many think it will still be an above-average <laughs> price when it is time to sell.